Wow. These are great. These are awesome. Oh, you just want it left on the table? Yeah. And then we'll, you want us to lab ourselves? Uh, okay, I'll leave on the table. We're just leaving it on the table. Okay, I'll stop touching your stuff. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Close the door. Am I supposed to be in the middle? Oh, am I? I don't know. Turn my phone off. Well, let's see what the experts think. Uh, hey, where do you want us? If I'm here or in the middle, what do you guys want? I can hear right now. I can hear you. So it doesn't matter where we are. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, where would you like to be? Be on the side by my thing. He's over there. Fine. That's what I thought, but... You guys need to sit yeah, next to each other so you can riff back and forth. You know, the tongue and the bully. Right. No, the bull, that's the bully and the tongue. Bully and the tongue. The tongue. You always, you always give yourself the weirdest name. It's just so But I love that he said you're a fucking pride flag. That's so funny. I mean, he's, he makes some bold choices. I made very him wear that. Bold. I made him wear the pink. How do you make a grown man wear pink? Because it's Christmassy. He has the tongue. Is it? All right. We have different versions pink. of... Yeah. Yeah, and he got out of it as quickly as he could in the film. He hated it. It was humiliating. But it's the funny suit, not the, yeah. the color pink. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh he identified that. Yes, he did he? Yes. Did he? Did you know that pink you guys, uh, used to be like the boy color? And are we ready? The girl color? Back until like are we ready? the 40s. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. We're gonna wait for 45 minutes? No, what? 45 seconds? I mean, I got here at 11 for whatever reason. Putts. You're a glutton for punishment. He's just horrible at scheduling. So it starts on Tuesday. I'll bring you in on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. It's just rude. Mm -hmm. This is such a great building, man. Yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. cool. I love it here. Most film commissions are in like the basement of the mayor's office or something. Well, this is great. We're not. Well, we are not for profit, and we we got a good deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shall we start? All right. Uh, I'm Bill Garvey. I'm the president of the Greater Cleveland Film Commission. That's G as in George, A, R, V as in Victor, E, Y. So I'm going to go through some economic impact and job creation numbers first, and then uh, talk about the behind the camera event this year. Um, so over the last decade, global motion picture production has uh, exploded. Um, there's been over $100 billion a year spent uh, annually. Uh, to a tune of $238 billion, uh, an all-time high last year. Uh, so that's what we're talking about. The, the economic impact of this industry uh, in Ohio has been uh, $1.2 billion over the lifetime of the program that started in 2009. So the Greater Cleveland Film Commission is a 501c3 not-for-profit uh, whose mission is to attract as much of that spending to come to Ohio and create jobs right here. Uh, there are hundreds of jobs that go into every TV show and movie that we watch, and most of these jobs have a union uh, starting minimum salary of $29.49 an hour, uh, in addition to a uh, pension and a fully funded health care plan. Uh, these are Ohio jobs. They're no longer just Hollywood jobs uh, because of our tax credit. And over the lifetime of the program, uh, over 145 movies and 160 additional projects have filmed in the state of Ohio, uh, spending at hundreds of Ohio vendors over that time. We accomplished this mission in part due, our, uh, due to our annual behind-the-camera event. Uh, it helps fund our workforce development training programs that arm our local workforce with the skills to get these jobs in the motion picture industry here in Ohio. We here at the Greater Cleveland Film Commission partner with a lot of great high schools and colleges, uh, as well as many local production companies and local uh, industry professionals to teach these skills. 
Um, so with that, uh, thank you to Amy uh, Kentner, uh, the director, uh, the executive director of the Cleveland Christmas Run, uh, who is one of our sponsors, and she's here with us tonight, today over there. Amy, thank you very much for your support. Uh, the Christmas Run will take place uh, on Saturday, November 11th, starting at 8:30 a.m. Uh, and also thank you to uh, John Goodman, uh, one of our uh, board directors, as well as uh, one of the sponsors of the event. He's also with here uh, with us here today. Thank you, John. Uh, so now to behind the camera, we're 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 super super excited about this event uh, because this is 40 years in the making. Uh, there's perhaps no movie that captures our hearts better than a Christmas story. It resonates with our own fond memories of childhood. It's become a ritual every holiday season. Uh, it's uh, the 40th year since it premiered on November 20th, 1983. And this year's uh, GCFC Behind the Camera event explores the man magic behind the making of the movie and celebrates the laughs and joy that it brings us. Uh, Behind the Camera, Ralphie Comes Home will be the biggest Christmas story cast reunion ever. And the first time the reunion has also included Peter Billingsley, who played Ralphie. You'll hear behind the scenes uh, stories from the production during the actors panel on Friday night in public music call on November 10th. And over the weekend, uh, visit Peter Billingsley and the rest of the cast at the Cast Expo in Public Auditorium for autographs and photo ops. With us to announce the Behind the Camera event today are Zach Ward and Scott Schwartz. Uh, Zach got his first movie audition for A Christmas Story, beating out 300 kids to play Scott Farkas. He has since gone on to star on dozens of movies and television shows, including American Horror Story, Chicago Fire, CSI Miami, Hawaii Five-0, Lost, Titus, Resident Evil Apocalypse, and Almost Famous. Uh, Scott Schwartz landed his first acting role at the age of eight and soon found himself in the leading role of the toy opposite Jackie Gleason and Richard Pryor. By the time he acted in A Christmas Story, he was a veteran and has since amassed dozens of acting credits, including, including A Christmas Story Christmas in 2022. In 2014, he became the president of a minor consideration, AMC for short. Uh, AMC advocates for the protection of children in the entertainment industry. So with that, I want to hand it off to these guys to say a few words, and then we'll hand it off to you to ask some questions. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, well, it's great to be here. As you guys all know, we did A Christmas Story here in 1982. Uh, well, we came out in 83, but we shot it in the end of 82. You're wrong. Anyways, um, uh, the city was very different. And for us, it's always an amazing thing to come back to Ohio and to Cleveland. Uh, we stayed, what was the name of the hotel we stayed at? The Renaissance. The Renaissance. And we were Higby kids. Square. Higby Square. And um, we were kids. And literally at night, you couldn't go out after 6 o'clock because of the level of uh, homeless in the streets. And it was crime. very dangerous and crime. And the entire area was boarded up, and um, it was a, a very different city. And so it's been an amazing experience for us. I'm originally from Toronto. He's originally from Jersey, New York. And watching this city grow and change over the last 40 years is just, I mean, it's such a beautiful place. And people here are so nice, and it's so green. I live in L.A. now, so obviously I've got a thing for green because it's brown and gross in L.A. Anyways, um, for us... Cleveland has become like this other home that we've enjoyed watching it grow up and become this beautiful, beautiful place. So it's a, a fantastic honor. Thank you very much. Thank you to all of you to be uh, invited to this opportunity and to share this with the city of, of Cleveland. And I don't know, I guess we're getting older and we got some pride in this old city that we got to play in when we were kids. So we're very grateful to be here. Scotty? You know, I don't know how I can top that. Thanks yeah. for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> um, no, it's, uh, it, it's been great coming back here from time to time and the different things that Cleveland has to offer and seeing all the, the, the building up of the city from you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to the new stadiums. Um, you know, uh, I, I enjoy Cleveland. Uh, good food for the most part. Um, and, you know, working with the, the film commission... Uh, on this has been just an absolute joy. They are very professional and a great group of people. And, you know, what they do is a good service. And 
And as uh, Bill said, you know, I was the president of a minor consideration. Uh, and it's also a 501c3, and you can only be the president, I guess, for two years, and that's all I could be the president. So now you just do other things. Um, but it's for the, the advocation of uh, child protection in film and television and helping the kids uh, and youth and even some older people in showbiz. Um, but doing this, this 40th reunion here, um, you know, uh, people may know, they may not know, uh, Peter Billingsley Ralphie has never done a public signing. You know, this basically will be the one and uh, only. Uh, in, in Cleveland, this will be it. There's only going to be three, maybe four, that he's going to do around the country. Um, and this, by far, is the biggest reunion with, with uh, Ralphie, Randy, Scott Farkas, Grover Dill, Flick, Schwartz, two of the girls from the school in the flagpole scene, the elves, and Miss Shields, and Black Bart. There, there should be 12 of us as long as everybody's health is okay, knock on wood. Um, by far, it's the biggest reunion, and it's the 40th, and Peter has agreed to be here. And, you know, when somebody hasn't done something in 40 years, and you talk them into it, you know, you know it means something to him as well to be here to support the program and support the, the city of Cleveland as well. Um, you know, we're going to have all kinds of, of interactive things uh, for people to do photo ops. You know, that if they just come general admission, they can do all that and there'll be no charge to these things. Uh, so it's more than just coming and, uh, you know, and meeting us. We're going to have some other fun stuff, you know. So I'm going to come grab one of these or one of those or whatever it is, you know. Leg lamps and Red Riders and all the good stuff. What else did I miss? I don't know. Do you guys have any questions? What can we, what can we answer? What can we help out with? You over there in the front. There was no one. I was just You're going to tell me there's, there's not one wow. person here who's got a question? This is modern journalism today. Did we really cover no it all? Come on. We, we couldn't have possibly covered everything. No? Yes. Yes, sir. I was going to say this slide. Uh, tell me, when you folks were shooting this kind of came and went from theaters, at what point did each of you realize that this was a major thing? 10, 15, 20 years later? Yeah, for me it was the 20th anniversary. It slowly built up, um, but it, did, it didn't pop all at once. Nobody cared. Literally nobody cared. Now, it really, it sat in VHS hell, basically, from 83 to 96, and... Uh, when Ted Turner bought the film for TBS and TNT from MGM, they did the marathon, and it was really not even that first year, it was the second year. The ratings went up, and then all of a sudden there was this whole new vibe about it. You know, yeah. I mean, I had uh, done the toy with Gleason and Pryor, and that's what I was known for. And then it literally took almost 14, 15 years after Christmas Story, and then that sort of got to the side and I became this guy, you know, and I went from the, oh, you're the toy guy to, oh, you're the tongue guy. So I traded yeah. one for the other. It, but it really took that long. Yeah. You know, there was no merchandise until 03, you know, which 20 years after a movie is out, they don't start making the merchandise. They bury it in the sand fill and it's been the other way, you know, which has been, it, it's an amazing that, you know, two guys, from not Hollywood, end up on Lunchbox or Leg Lamp and a Monopoly board and a game and it, it's wild, you know, that, that it's become a part of an economy. Anybody else? Don't be we don't bite. Wow. There's coffee up there. Yeah, yes, yeah. go ahead. They have a huge inflatable Leg Lamp out in front of the building and as people were walking by, they noticed that people are stopping taking pictures just of the Leg Lamp. Yeah. I mean, what's it like to be, you know, did you know, like, what's it like to be kind of like iconic now? What is be so associated with, you know? It's awesome. And, uh, it's awesome. It, it, if, I think everybody here may be old enough to remember the TV show Cheers. Everybody? Mm -hmm. And remember Norm would walk into Cheers and people would go, Norm, that's how I get treated everywhere I go. Like I'm... People look at me and they don't know me, but they recognize me from somewhere that they like me. And so they go, <laughs> wait, I don't know that guy. Uh, so it's an amazing experience because I'm not famous. I'm like minor celebrity, but like the long lost uncle or something, right? And it's, it's great. It's really a lot of fun. It's a, 
rare air we get to breathe. Yeah. In the big scale of things, we still pay $3.50 for a cup of coffee. But it, it's nice to know that uh, we were a part of a project that kind of put its stamp uh, into the lore of Americana. Yeah. You know, and uh, far beyond when we're here, people will still watch it and smile and laugh. Um, and, you know, again, we're, you know, the 40th year in this and bringing it here, what we want to do, the economic impact it can help the city with, make the city from hopefully people that will come from all over the country, not just people that uh, are in the vicinity. You know, we're hoping to get people because uh, something like this where uh, the other uh, landmark that's here in town, uh, people from all 50 states come and see. And, that, and that's what we're expecting. We're expecting people to come from all 50 states. This is a big deal. Peter is coming home to, to you know, celebrate, you know. So, uh, you know, it's, really it's cool. an honor, privilege. It's cool. And, uh, you know, again, I, you know, uh, uh, Bill and John and, and Seema and Julie and, and Mike and everybody, uh, everybody at the Film Commission, uh, it's kind of, the, they're, they're all doing this for the right reasons. And it's, it's really... It's going to be great, great for people to see what Cleveland looks like around <laughs> in, in November as well. It's such a beautiful city. It's got that fantastic Christmas vibe to it. And it isn't crazy freezing by that time. Not yet. You wait like another six weeks and... Eh. But I'm from Toronto, I can say that. But in, it's beautiful. So there are people who, haven't, who aren't from this, the immediate area who get to see how gorgeous Cleveland is. In November, we'll have a really good time. So it's going to be... It's going to be a win, win, win. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. I'm curious, do you guys have any numbers that you're anticipating or anything like that? Have you a lot. I'd like 10, 10 million people would be great. <laughs> 10 million One people. billion. Yeah, there you go. Um, it, we're expecting five figures up. There's no question. You know, we, we, the, the, the Christmas run, you know, Amy's been working, you know, fantastic on that over the years and building up a, a, a wonderful base of people. Um, you know, when you watch something and people are running a 5K in their bunny suit, you know, that's in November, in November yeah. or, you know, or their, their Western costume or people are actually like this and they're holding a flagpole as they're running in the race. Um, that's a level yeah. of psychosis that just goes with Christmas. It's awesome. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, so we're, we're expecting tens of thousands of people to show up for this and we think it'll be a great event for the, the entire city. There, there's an old saying. You can lead the horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You can, you can put on an a, a event like this. And we know that people are coming. It's just how many, you know. I mean, I got people from Dallas and Denver and Portland, Seattle going, dude, when are you going to tell, you know, when are you going to make this public? I need to buy my tickets. I got to get this, you know. So we're expecting people to come from all over the country, which is of great economic impact in city. So you should buy your tickets now. Well, not, right. well not, no, no, not right now she's ahead of everybody else, so she can get <laughs> the hotel It's not actually rooms. live yet. Okay, she can get sure. a hotel room, right, the rest yeah, of it's yeah. not live yet. You know. it's trying to help but it you will out. be today. Anybody else? Yes, yes sir. sir. The, actually, it's three days. We're going to have... Uh, it will be open to the general public on Friday. We're going to have the uh, behind the camera. Then we're going to have a meet and greet time frame that people can come and VIPs. And then after that, there's also a VIP uh, sponsor uh, Q and A and and behind the camera sort of you know with two different crowds. But in the middle, we will have uh, signing. And then on Saturday and Sunday, uh, we will have meet and greet and photo ops and cast photo ops and. There will be a schedule that will end up up on the website, you know, the exact, so, you know, uh, those people don't have to worry about, oh, my God, I don't remember what time. It's like they can always go. Yeah, it'll it. be detailed out for you, so you'll yeah. have it on your phone. Are you going to be in the, in the race? Probably not. Okay. No, because... Going to be a little busy? Just uh, a, just a skosh. Sure. But, we're, yeah. We're, we're hopefully going to get as many of us as we can for the, the beginning, the start of the race. Uh, I know there'll be a few cast members due to age or whatever that won't. Um, it depends on what time we get done Friday night, you know, of who's going to be good to go on, on Saturday morning for the, how you doing? Thanks for coming on your market set go. 
Then we'll leave there, we're gonna get something to eat, and then we'll be right over at the, uh, at the public auditorium, which is where these events will be. You expect a reenactable movie to break out sometimes? Usually, yeah. Yeah, people do the weirdest fun things. They're fantastic. We have a, we have a special uh, VIP sponsor dinner on Thursday night, which you have to have by a certain level ticket or be one of the sponsors and whatever. And, and I believe we're having it at a Chinese restaurant, I, you know, whatever. So, you know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some singing. Yeah, you know, we're it gonna, should be fun. You know. <clears throat> we all have a pretty good sense of humor, and we all understand what this movie means to so many people, and, and an event like this can make memories for generations to them and their families, their kids, their grandkids, whatever the case may be. Yeah. You know. It's we embrace it and have fun with it. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we know that this is the, the biggest cast reunion ever, but I was just uh, curious as to uh, the relationship that you guys have had, I guess, prior to. And, uh, we um, hate each other. Restraining orders on 80% of all of them. <laughs> um, yeah. Stay in contact frequently. Yeah, yeah. Also, we just did uh, Christmas Story Christmas in 2022. Last year. Last year. So uh, we spent uh, two something plus months over in Bulgaria, locked in a hotel under COVID restrictions. And I don't speak Bulgarian or drink or and I'm happily married. So there wasn't much else to do besides hang out with your boys, drink coffee and make jokes. So, yeah, we all get along great. Oh, we had a blast. You had them breakfast at nine, lunch at one. Dinner at six. He's in bed by six thirty. So yeah, we, we to answer yes. the question, we all get along great, and uh, yeah, it's forty years later, so you don't have a lot of friends like that in your life that often, and we get to share this, which is a lot of fun. Anybody? Come on, because you're gonna leave, and then you're gonna think, you know what? I should have asked that guy. This would have been a great question. So maybe walk out the door, take five steps, think about it, oopsie, and come back. No. I could. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was my question. Okay. Well, I answered it. Thank you. She said please. I know. And I answered. Don't shame me. I identify as someone who doesn't wear that hat right now. <laughs> That's not my hat to wear. Yeah. He, he'd lose his life. Yeah. <laughs> I know my place. Well, thank Bill, you do you folks. want to ask anything? You got any questions? I, no, I'm tapped out. John, we're over here. This do you great. want to ask any questions, young man? No, I would like to thank you, though, for your impact at Cleveland and coming back. What a thrill it's going to be for Cleveland. Well, the fact that it's going to drive a tremendous amount of economic development for Cleveland. And, uh, the mayor sends his regards. And well, that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. the, we, I mean, we personally take responsibility for LeBron James coming here <laughs> because what we did with branding Cleveland as the city of Christmas f almost like 40 years ago now. I mean, LeBron texts me all the time. We're really close. And uh, <clears throat> he, was, he was saying that he chose Cleveland because he loved the movie so much and the toy, so, because he was a big Richard Pryor fan. Oh, yeah. Well, so you're welcome, Chappelle, yeah, Cavaliers. Chappelle, you're you're, you're welcome. Responsibility, you know, for Chappelle. Yeah, all those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was us. Yeah. That, was, that was, at the age of 13, <laughs> that's what we did. Yes. Yeah, as children, yeah. But no, it, it's a great thing to be part of, and we're honored. Thank you, folks. Well, thank you all for coming. Is, really appreciate is, it. Is John coming to say anything? Would you like to say anything, young man? I think you said it all. We're very excited about the event. Well, come on. Why don't you <laughs> come and sit? Because yeah. you, you're good at Oh, that's right. You've got your, uh, your whooping. He's gimpy. He has his own. I'm glad he's on his feet. Like lamb. Nice. Glad you're all right. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. If you want to do anything really individually, folks. let us know. It's not a problem. We, we have plenty of time, so. We're, we are here and whatever you need. Oh, there's stuff over there? Yeah, there's food there's over food. there. There's yeah. food. Help yourself. No Go idea what it free is. Food. Go. I'm radio, so I need to get up close. Oh, good. Hello, radio. How you doing? Sure. We can do it together, whatever you say.